Our partners at the State House News Service giving a close watch on the state of play of Beacon Hill. Transportation, climate change, health care continue to dominate the legislative schedule. On Tuesday, the Office of Campaign and Political Finance starts choosing a new director. Wednesday is a deadline for committees to report up or down on a whole host of bills before them. So a small group of Massachusetts House members got a celebrity endorsement this week in their efforts to ban non-disclosure agreements. Gretchen Carlson, who won a major sexual harassment case against Roger Ailes and Fox, but to this day cannot talk about the agreement, was at the State House. Is there a chance House and Senate leadership will budge on this issue, do you think? Is this the year, Rob? I, I think there will be a deal made where NDAs are allowed only if the victim requests it. Interesting. Agree, Marianne? I hope so. I mean, the fact is too many women are silenced by them and too few women have the power to break them. And I think you saw that even in a case like Gretchen Carlson and others. So hopefully that changes because it, it silences women. All right, let me, I'm going to turn the bus a complete 100, <laughs> 180 here. I, I asked at the top of the show, even if it's Super Bowl Sunday without the Patriots, is it really Super Bowl Sunday? But I'm going to take it a step further. Super Bowl is just another day to wait, get out of the way before we find out what's going on with Tom Brady. Is that what it is? Well, I, we're not going to know till after Super Tuesday. Yeah, Whether that's Tom true. Brady is coming back <laughs> to, do, to win another Super Bowl, which would be super. <laughs> just super, Marianne. Just super, bro. See, I, I agree. We'll know the Democratic nominee right. before we know <laughs> totally. Tom Brady. You think What's so? he going to do? Right. Yeah. We're too political. Well, it's, it's, everything it's, is, politics. Come everything on. is centered around politics. It's a lot. He's waiting yeah. on March 18th. I Everybody's that. betting on the game to maintain some level of interest. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay, best or worst week? Let's start with Rob. Uh, my best week is the U.S. Attorney, Andrew Lelling. Uh, exposing Chinese espionage going on right here in Boston with the prosecution of a, a Harvard department head this week. Really an incredible story and a great public service to get it out. Interesting. It was a very interesting story. He's been standing up with a lot of high-profile cases. Mm -hmm. in building yeah. that yeah. One, two, three, yep. right in yeah. a row. Marian, best or worst? Uh, my best is this video. Look who's got smart pack. <laughs> I mean, how can you not love John Krasinski, Chris Evans, Rachel Dreich, a cameo by Big Poppy and two Wahlbergs on the side. I mean, it doesn't get better than this, and the Boston accent is classic. Would you pack the cat? You pack it in Fenway? Did you pack it in Foxborough? Yeah. Smart pack. And big, Unpacked it. And, and Big Poppy sticking his head out at the end of the thing. It's just your bigness. It's your bigness. <laughs> all right, right and, we, we've got a handful of seconds mm. left. Are you going to tomorrow night when Iowa's all done? Are you going to have a better read on what this presidential race is like? Maybe. Um, it it, it depends. Literally, it'll depend who who wins Iowa if they can slingshot into New Hampshire. Yeah, well, we won't know until after New Hampshire. Right. It, it's kind of a one-two punch. Right. Like Marion said, does somebody run the table? We are right. going to be in fifth gear for the next eight days. Woo! By the way, New Center 5's Ben Simino is in Iowa. Full coverage right here on New Center 5. Folks, every Sunday we go on the record.